uh, hello friends today in this tutorial we will be talking about the two main protocols of the internet which is called as http versus websocket so we will be taking real world examples and i will be telling you the difference between the traditional http protocol versus the modern websocket protocol so this will be a wide whiteboard video alongside real world examples so please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well so let's start this tutorial so now guys first of all we will be telling the full form of http so it stands for hypertext transfer protocol it's a very old protocol of the internet so whenever the internet was released in way back 1995 so this is the first basic protocol where we exchange some html which is the primary language of the web so we exchange some hypertext so this is a full form of this protocol so now guys we will be taking an example of this http protocol so you can see that the http request response cycle so we have this animation of client and server so you can see that this is the example of http the client makes a request to the server and they open the request to exchange some data so client makes a request server returns some data so this is just a one way traffic because there is only one connection out there from client to server so this is the only uh, single directional connection here you can see that the client is making the request to server for some kind of data and the server is returning the data and then the connection is closed so there is no bi-directional communication there is only single way communication between the client and the server so this is the basic limitation of this http protocol because it is always going in a single direction the client is making the connection and the server is returning some data and then the connection is closed so it is so now guys there is another protocol similar to http which is the more secure version of http which is called as https so it stands for hypertext transfer protocol secure as stands for secure you can see inside this image we have the http traditional protocol which is an insecure connection so basically it's a normal http protocol the user makes a request into an insecure connection now in the second we have the encrypted connection we have the ssl certificate so you can see all the modern websites have a ssl certificate because it is mandatory to use ssl certificate in shopping websites the user is submitting very crucial information let's say let's suppose credit card information so these information needs to be secured so that's why we need to have a SSL certificate on all the websites that we use day to day. So this is the difference between the HTTP versus the uh, secure version of HTTP. So most of the websites use this HTTPS protocol instead of HTTP. So as you can see inside this animation guys, so whenever we try to open the web browser, we open this uh, any website, we type HTTP. So when we just need to write the HTTPS version, so basically this will translate to green signal, that is we have the SSL certificate. So this is more secure connection that we are opening here. So each and every website has two uh, versions of it, either the more insecure version which, which is http and the more secure version which is https so whenever you write something on youtube.com google.com they have this uh, https version which is a secure version so all the uh, http uh, version of the website is redirected to this https version which is more secure so which is mandatory for each and every website to use this ssl certificate so this is also very much required for google search engines as well so if you want to rank well inside the google search engine you need to use the https protocol so now guys we will be looking at the major drawback of this http protocol it's a very slow protocol you need to you can see inside this animation so whenever you make the request for some kind of data the server returns the data and again the connection is closed so again every time you need to uh, get some data you need to every time refresh the page every time you need to refresh the page so this will be a very big problem for the users which are visiting your website if you just build this using a php or some kind of a traditional HTTP. so now guys we will be talking about the modern protocol which is websockets so basically it's a bi-directional protocol you can exchange messages between the client and the server and also server can also send messages to the client also so this is a bi-directional full duplex tcp connection between the client browser and the server so it's a modern protocol and with the help of this protocol you can build some real-time applications such 
such as chatting application, polling application. So all these modern applications even built using this WebSocket protocol. So as you can see that guys, this is the example of this WebSocket protocol. So in this animation, you can just see here, this is a client browser and this is a server. So basically we have a persist persistent correction here, bi-directional communication going on between the client browser and the server here. So they can exchange messages back and forth. So it's a persistent connection in comparison to the HTTP protocol, which was just a one-way traffic going from the client browser to the server. So in this case, we can communicate with each other. The client can communicate with the server and also the server can communicate messages back to the client also. So whenever there is new data. So in this case, you don't need to refresh the page again and again so the users will users experience will be great because they did not have to refresh their page every time when they whenever there is new data to be reloaded and with the help of this protocol you can build real-time chatting applications polling applications and modern applications you can build it and also Facebook chat messenger also use these protocols websocket and all the major video chat zoom clone all these modern applications live streaming applications make use of these websocket protocols where the client can communicate with server and the server can also communicate with the client